Hi everyone, I am Ashka. I will be presenting our talk on Tackle, Guiding Collective Algorithm Synthesis Using Communication Sketches. This work was done as a part of my internship at Microsoft Research. Deep learning models are getting larger by the year and need to be distributed across various nodes, each with multiple GPUs. This introduces a network communication overhead to the already expensive ML execution and GPUs can spend as much as 20 to 65 percent of their time idle, waiting on network communication to finish. So what does this network communication look like? Modern day ML systems use MPI style collective communication as an abstraction for how GPUs can gather, shuffle or accumulate data between each other. All gather, all reduce, reduce scatter and all, uh, all to all are the main collectives that are used in distributed ML. So this is what an all gather collective looks like. It gathers the data present at all GPUs uh, to every other GPU. The exact algorithm to implement the collective communication on the hardware de determines how well the network is utilized and thus the speed of the communication as well. However, designing efficient collective algorithms is hard. What are some of its challenges? First, a wide variety of node topologies are available for deep learning. These are two common node offerings. Nodes can have different number of GPUs, different number of NICs that may be shared between GPUs or dedicated, and also different, number, different types of GPU connects like fast NV links or NV switches. The best connective algorithm could be different for different topologies. Further, link connections are heterogeneous for any multi-node architecture. Connections within a node are faster and have lower latency than connections between nodes. Link heterogeneity thus needs to be kept in mind while designing collective algorithms. Finally, the performance of a collective algorithm depends on the size of the data chunks that must be communicated. In this graph, we show the time it takes to transfer data sizes uh, across uh, an NVLink connection. Uh, with small data sizes, the latency cost of transfer dominates, whereas bandwidth utilization only comes into picture as we move to larger data sizes. Uh, collective algorithms with many steps of data transfers, like a state-of-the-art algorithm called ring algorithm, end up not performing well for small data sizes. Thus, uh, they need to, these algorithms need to be, uh, be designed depending on the size of the data that needs to be transferred. Uh, so here is what the current state of the art in the field of collective algorithm design looks like. First there is Nickel. It is a library to, uh, that maps an implementation of generic algorithms like ring or tree onto a target topology. The algorithms uh, that are used are not custom built for a particular topology and often leaves some performance on the table, as we will show later in the evaluation. Also, uh, Nickel performs some tuning to select between two algorithms based on the input size, but this tuning is complicated, is not present for all collectives, and is done using uh, experiments that may not often match what is seen in practice. Uh, we do note that Nickel algorithms can be used for any number of nodes. On the other hand, there are synthesis based approaches like Blink or Sickle that are topology and size aware. They basically synthesize collective algorithms targeted to a particular topology. For example, Blink maximizes link utilization in heterogeneous topology, whereas Sickle uh, synthesizes Pareto optimal algorithms in terms of latency and bandwidth. Uh, however, synthesis is an NP hard problem and these approaches cannot scale, to mul scale their synthesis to multi-node topologies. So we introduced Tackle, a collective communication library that solves a mixed integer linear programming problem to synthesize collective algorithms that are topology aware and input size aware. Tackle scales to multi-node topologies and uh, algorithms generated by Tackle can be used as drop-in replacement for Nickel. Algorithms generated by Tackle outperform Nickel by up to 6.7x for evaluated topologies and provide up to 2.4x end-to-end speedups for evaluated distributed ML models. So here is what Tackle's workflow looks like. We are given a target collective to create an algorithm for. We profile the topology of the multi-GPU system to learn its performance characteristics and the factors it depends on. 
And this then helps inform a communication sketch, which is provided as an input by the algorithm designer. With the help of these inputs, Tackle Synthesizer generates an algorithm that is lowered into an executable format and then can be run on the hardware by the Tackle's backend. So in this talk, I'll mo mostly focus on communication sketches and brief briefly talk about Tackle Synthesizer. Before that, let's first see what a collective algorithm generated by Tackle looks like. Given a collective, say all gather, we have a precondition of what data buffers at each GPU look like and a post condition of what they should look like after the collective is performed. For each link, Tackle determines which chunks are transferred over the link and also the order in which they are sent along with their send times. However, we know that synthesizing a collective algorithm is NP hard. If we assume L links in the topology and C data chunks, the search space is exponential in terms of C, C, uh, C square and L. Naively solving this problem would be computationally infeasible. So we introduce a novel abstraction called communication sketches. ML engineers who want to design collective algorithms can write a communication sketch to specify intuitive parts of the algorithm. Communication sketches do not require a lot of domain knowledge to write, but at the same time they, they can uh, guide algorithm synthesis to cater better to topology and expected input size. So one of the tasks of the synthesizer is to make yes no decisions about whether different chunks should be sent over different links. Communication sketches can reduce the number of decisions that need to be taken by the synthesizer. Tackle exposes three main kinds of sketching. So first is logical topology. In a multi-node topology, any GPU of one node can potentially send data to any GPU of another node over the IB fabric. We allow users to specify which GPUs may be involved in the internode data transfers thus creating a logical topology that is a subset of the possible connections. So uh, here the user could allow all GPUs of a node to communicate with all other GPUs, let's say. If we synthesize an all-to-all -all algorithm using this sketch for these nodes, these are the parts of the data that the highlighted, uh, that the data of the highlighted GPU would follow. On the other hand, the user could also write another sketch to allow only GPU 0 of one node to send data to GPU 1 of another node. This is what data transfer paths would look like for this sketch. We plot the speed up over nickel for algorithms obtained by both sketches for different data sizes. And we see that sketch 1 performs competitively or better than nickel for small sizes and sketch 2 performs better than nickel for larger sizes. And we thus see that sketching a log logical topology reduces the number of links that we need to make decisions about. And also by smartly choosing a logical topology, we can reason about complex issues in networking like input sizes and also PCIe switch placements, which might be harder to encode in a synthesizer. Next, we look at sketching connections within a node. The NV switch interconnect within a node allows all-to-all -all connectivity between GPUs. We obtain the throughput of sending data from every GPU to n other GPUs simultaneously for an increasing n and plot this over an increasing n. We find that data transfer throughput increases with n for small data sizes and decreases with n for larger data sizes. This leads, to, leads us to add another element to our sketch in which users can specify whether to minimize or maximize unique connections over NV switches. And this is used to guide algorithm synthesis to be performant for a particular range of input. Finally, in the common case where all nodes are the same in a multi-node uh, multi topology or in cases where a node itself is symmetric, Users can provide a plane of symmetry around which data transfers will be fixed to be rotationally symmetric. This ends up reducing the number of transfers that the synthesizer has to make decisions about. So now that we have a communication sketch, how do we generate collective algorithms? In order to scale tackle synthesizer, we divide it into stages. First, uh, routing, then ordering and batching. I'll briefly go through each stage in this talk and more details about them can be found in the paper. 
So consider the following four GPU topology and an example custom collective with the following precondition and post condition. The routing stage determines uh, e the path that each data chunk will take. There may be multiple paths that a data chunk can choose from and Tackle will choose a route that maximizes link utilization. Under the hood, it does this by minimizing the congestion and the length of paths taken by each chunk. Next, we see that there are multiple chunks that have to go over the same link and Tackle orders them heuristically by giving uh, by uh, certain heuristics by giving more preference to chunks that need to travel longer distances. And finally, Tackle also decides if it should batch data chunks and send them together over an, a link in order to reduce link latency costs. It does this by optimizing uh, between a reduced latency cost versus possible pipelining gaps that may be introduced due to batching. To ramp up Tackle's workflow, the synthesized algorithm is then lowered into an executable format that can be run in place of a nickel algorithm. I will now discuss the evaluation. We compare algorithms generated by Tackle against Nickel for widely used collectives like all gather all and all reduce and for uh, different topologies like NVIDIA DGX2 and Azure NDV2. We also compare the end to end performance of distributed models Transformer Excel and BERT uh, on their official uh, on their most popular PyTorch implementation. So, how do algorithms synthesized by Tackle uh, perform against Nickel? We show this for two collectives, all gather and all reduce, and uh, on NVIDIA DGX2 and two node Azure NDV2 nodes. The x axis shows the buffer size, and the y axis is the algorithm bandwidth, which is a metric of throughput. So, higher is better here. So, for all gather algorithm on DGX2, the best tackle algorithm performs 5 to 6x, 6x, 6.7x faster than nickel for small sizes. Uh, the algorithms utilize the internode bandwidth better and perform up to 25% better for larger sizes. On Azure NDV2, we see a 10% to 3.4x speed up over nickel. Similarly, for all reduce, Tackle's algorithm give up to 6.4x uh, speed up on DGX2 and up to 2.2x speed up on NDV2. So, algorithms synthesized by Tackle are faster than nickel over a range of input sizes for the evaluated collectives and topologies. Next, we answer the question. Do faster collective algorithms actually improve end-to-end -end performance of distributed ML? We replace Nickel with Tackle's backend using a single import line change and register Tackle's algorithms in the popularly used implementation of Transformer, Back, uh, Transformer Excel and BERT in PyTorch. For both these models on two Azure NDV2 nodes, we see 10% to up to 2.4x to speed up for varying batch size. We note that Transformer Excel is running data parallelism, which uses the all reduced collective. And BERT is uh, using model parallelism, which also uses all reduced collective. We also run a Microsoft internal mixture of experts workload using tackle all to all and all reduce algorithms and obtain a 17% speed up over nickel. So speeding up collective algorithm speeds up the end to end model training. To conclude, tackle is a tool to synthesize efficient algorithms for collectives. It is guided using intuitive communication sketches and solved using a novel three-stage synthesizer. We are really excited about the power that communication sketches can bring to synthesis and uh, Tackle will soon be available at uh, this following GitHub link. I'll, uh, I'll take questions now and you can also meet me later or uh, email me at this mail. Thank you.